Well, first, civil society and environmental groups called for it. Then the state signaled through its information outlet that there should be a ban on the ubiquitous styrofoam. Today, the Cabinet Secretary, Dr. Roger Luncheon, announced that the Ghana government will bring legislation to ban styrofoam and plastics in some cases. The nation can expect soon the promulgation of legislation that would in a variety of ways seek to restrict, prevent the importation of goods that are packaged in non-biodegradable material, styrofoam, plastic, and aluminum containers. Earlier this week, the state-owned and controlled Ghana Chronicle called for a ban on the products in an editorial comment. Uh, the government's move comes just days before the Rio Plus 20 conference, when the world gathers to review the progress on environmental matters made since the Earth Summit in Rio in 1992. The littering of the environment has been a problem for decades now, and the central government moved to stem the flow of this disposal problem by introducing an environmental tax. However, while the tax rakes in a whopping one billion Ghana dollars per year, it falls short in ensuring that the environment is cleaned up. According to a senior tax official, the real challenge is not only where the money is spent and on what, but the fact that styrofoam containers, boxes and cups are not covered by the tax at all. The senior official pointed out only bottles, plastic or glass that can be recycled or that are imported with something in them attract the tax. Basically, the environmental tax is very limited in its scope, but yet garners enough to clean up the environment on an annual basis if applied systematically and specifically to the cause according to persons knowledgeable of solid waste disposal. Over the last few years, beverage companies in Ghana have been moving toward more use of plastic bottles. The move has sharpened criticism about the styrofoam plastic culture in Guyana concerns that the environmental tax was supposed to deal with. Now the government says it will ban styrofoam and plastic. Clearly too, in reaction to the fact that the environmental tax money is not being used for what it was intended. Just look into any drain near you. For Capital News, Enrico Wilford reporting.